Good evening, everyone. We're rocking and rolling on this Saturday night. 2016 Bowman's Best Baseball, an eight-box uh, picker team break. Number 38 plus some Topps National Baseball Card Day giveaways. Top 10 win right here. So at the, I'll explain this at the end of the break, but they will be top 10 winners. There'll be a separate randomizer at the end. Enjoy the break first. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Right there on the 12th, pick your team 38. I think we have a pretty solid crew here. I think there's a lot of people here. I know Darren's here. I know Matt Parsons is here. I know... I don't know. There were other people that were here. Darren McKenzie. Lee Keller is here. Regicidal is here. So we've got a pretty solid crew here. Break 38. We've done a ton of these. This has always been a pretty popular one on the website. This is our last case for a little while, though. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do remember that, Lee. I'm, I'm cracking up reading the chat because Lee was like, and he, this is true. I can ba I, I can vouch for for Regicidal. And say that he has purchased the Angels probably in like what five, ten, five, seven, seven breaks, seven to ten breaks, or something like that. A lot of breaks. And look, we've done 38 of these. So he's gotten into a lot of breaks with the uh, Angels looking for Mike Trout. Now, I've ne in 38 breaks, I've never pulled a Mike Trout by itself. I've pulled one dual auto of Chris Bryant, Mike Trout, and in fact, I, uh, somewhat kind of hilariously, two cases before that, Jason Jaspi was due, was, uh, it was on a Monday or something like that, and Jason Jaspi pulled a Chris Bryant, Mike Trout dual autograph. That's the last, and that was like pick your team number 12 or something. That was, a, it was a long time ago. So it, it has been a while since we've seen, uh, well, I mean, I've never seen a Mike Trout by itself. Basically, just his regular auto. He's in there somewhere, allegedly. All right, box number one, mini box number one, two autographs per box. Some pretty nice stuff. Let's breeze through this. But yeah, eventually, <laughs> um, as the story goes, eventually I had to sign just like a base card. And I kind of got it close, right? Uh, these mirror image cards will randomize left and right. And our first autograph is Anderson Espinosa. I don't think I've ever seen him sign right across his crotch. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. Well, there you go. Anderson Espinosa, Friars. That'll go to Shane and last spot Mojo. He's one of the Red Sox prospects that came over in the Kimbrel trade, I believe. Yeah, when you got it, did you look at the, the Mike Trout auto? and was like, hey, that's pretty close, Joe. Looks well, like Max Scherzer has to carry the Nationals, folks, because people are saying that Bryce Harper destroyed his knee. Tell me, folks, 18 out of 99, Will Myers, another Padre for Shane. Was It, it was a non-contact I haven't seen the play. Is it a non-contact injury? Paul Goldschmidt, MVP, possibly. And upside down, Kyle Schorber. Nice one for the Cubs. That goes to Mary Lou and the Cubbies. We've not pulled a... Uh, we've not pulled a... Uh, McGuire Cracked Ice um, autograph, Smitty. Today could be the day. A nice Julio Urias, 33 out of 50. Went down with, a, with an injury. They said it's an acute injury, Jaime. So it wasn't due to... It wasn't due to the over, like over taxation of the arm. He's still out for a while, but it wasn't due to the over taxation of the arm. It was just like kind of a freak thing, is what they're at least that's what they're saying. But he should be back next season. Trey Turner, 
also injured. A lot of injuries creeping up for the Nationals. There's Aaron Judge. And Nolan Arenado autograph. NL West rocking and rolling here. Corey has the Rockies. So Lee is saying he definitely hyperextended it. Could be out for the season. So at the very least, hyperextended it. At the worst, ACL injuries, right? Heather is saying, and Evan saying he's running to first base. Heather is saying he slid on the back of the first base bag. Okay, I'm trying to visualize. I got to watch that in a little bit. Oh, so his foot slid out from under him. Ooh. <laughs> There's Chris Sale out of 250. That's still White Sox edition. Daniel Murphy, carry the weight. Although as a Dodger fan, I, I never want to wish injury upon anybody. I'm not that kind of guy, but... All right, that was box one. I guess I'll sleeve this up too. What is this, like 10 bucks right here? <laughs> Probably, maybe. I don't know. There you go, Yankees, Gary. His knee went inwards. Eesh. I mean, you, you don't see those kind of injuries too often in baseball. That's 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 why I think it's often so so jarring to see. You know, like you always look at you. You watch. We were watching football preseason before. You watch football. They're like, yeah. You know, like. You're like, yeah, like, the, you know, you're going you're gonna to expect to see those injuries happen. But. No, Vince, that, that, that Aaron Judge isn't going to go for 1700 bucks. He's something. Nice. Bellinger with another home run, huh? Darren Max. Nice. Actually, that game is going on. I need to have, like, a little game cast, a little MLB game day open here. All right, Dodgers able to beat... I've been having trouble with those pesky Padres. 5-3 uh, for the Dodgers. Okay. In the top of the eighth. Padres up to bat. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk classic knee injuries now. Justin Bible's like, it wasn't horrible. Nate Chubb's knee was horrible. What about... <laughs> Yeah, there's Joe Theismann's injury was horrible. What about, uh, who's that Raider running back? Smitty, do you remember? Was it Napoleon Kaufman or McCallan or something? Napoleon Kaufman, I think, had a knee bent back. Oof. That was a brutal one. That's that's one where I was, I think I was like, I don't know how old I was. I was young, but it, it definitely saw that how. Napoleon McCallan, right. Ooh. That was a brutal one. Well, there. there's Bryce Harper. Get well soon, Bryce. We'll, we'll have a little tribute for Bryce Harper right there. Gavin Lux, Dodgers hitting nicely so far. That goes to Jaime. Oh, yeah, who's the basketball player? Lee's talking about a college basketball player, maybe, whose knee went inwards and then, like, snapped or something. I think it was, like, in the early, the early rounds of the NCAA tournament, I believe. There's Anthony Banda. NL West doing well so far. Jacob Hobbs with the Diamondbacks. Yeah, Heather's, like, Louisville player, right? Yeah, college basketball. Kevin Ware, is that who it was? That sounds familiar. And there's Clint Frazier, gold. 7 out of 50 for the Yankees. We got David Dahl. We're st we're, I think we're still in the NL West for most of the autographs. Uh, that goes to Corey and the Rockies. We got a couple uh, nice ones there. Now Arenado and now David Dahl. And 
Lucas Giolito. This is still Nationals edition of Lucas Giolito in this set, Jack. Jack Sue with this one. Oh, man, Justin Bibles had a pretty brutal injury there. Um, apparently, I don't think there's any video footage of this. But I'm pretty sure that pretty sure that Teddy Bridgewater's injury was apparently really bad, but I mean it was during a practice, so there was no uh, so there was no like like actual video of it, I think. But apparently Bridgewater's injury was really, really bad. <laughs> I heard from some people who who like know the know the story a little bit better. Who were saying that like his kneecap slid into his thigh, like that's how bad it was, or that's how many ligaments were just shredded. It's just oof. people apparently were visibly sick at that practice when they saw his when they saw his leg. Um. Or Bryce Harper. This is way, Tyler's saying this is way before his time, but in old school wrestling, Psycho Sid broken leg was terrible. <laughs> What's scary is when it's an injury like like Bryce Harper's injury, right? You're just you're just you're just chugging along to first base, you know, and your foot just slips a little bit. It's just like something he's done like a zillion times in his life, and that that's just got to be a that's like kind of a freak accident, right? I feel bad for the guy. And look at this! Wow, a dual autograph. 11 out of 25, Carlos Rodon, Carson Fulmer, dual on-card autograph. You don't see these very often. That goes to the Chicago White Sox, Ed Aarons with the White Sox. There you go, Ed. Happy Saturday. That is strong right there. I didn't even know this, this, was, this existed. I didn't know this was a possibility. Nice one. I met Ed at the National. That was also very nice, Ed. Good to see you, man. And here you go. Uh, this is considered one per case, so we're going to randomize these separately. There's Cal Quantrill. That's Paul's kid. I you guys remember, old school guys might remember Paul Quantrill. Padres, that goes to Shane. Out of 250, Xander Bogarts and Xander Bogarts for the Red Sox. Jacob Hobbs with the Red Sox. And Dansby Swanson, Lee Keller, Regicidal with the Dansby Swanson. He's going to be back, right, Lee? We're not worried about him, right? He's just young. Just a young kid. Maybe moved up the minors a little too quickly. I think he'll be fine in the future. Some growing pains. And more Diamondbacks for Jacob. Anthony Banda. Yeah, Lee says Dancing Swans will be fine too. He'll be fine. I agree. That's what I think too, right? Just kind of got brought up a little too quickly. All right. There's poor Bryce Harper over there. The Bryce Harper vigil. Next box.
All right. Next two mini boxes, ladies and gentlemen. We are just about halfway there. Just a bit outside. Just about halfway there. Just about halfway there. Ball four. Ball eight. Ball 12. And Ricky Vaughn has... That's not a good Euchre impression, but I was trying to channel him. I haven't, I haven't watched Major League in a little bit. i got to watch that again. That's a great... What a great movie. All right. Next one. There's Ichiro. He's got a new owner. I was gonna hope that I was hoping that was like Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter is new owner. Anthony Alford for the Blue Jays. So what? Jeter and Jordan, right? I think Jeter and Jordan are part of the ownership group. Now they're not really the buyers. They've got they've got guys that are far more richer than them buying, but but they're the faces now. At least Jeter definitely is operations and all that. Maybe he'll bring his buddy Andy in. And there is Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis for the Mariners. That goes to Matt Parsons. There you go, Matt. Oh, I thought that was numbered for a second. It's not. Can you believe that Giancarlo Stan is healthy this season? I mean, I, I probably jinxed it. Damn it. He's on my fantasy team, too. I don't even know why I brought that up. Julio Urias, 67 out of 99. Another one for Jaime and the Dodgers. How oh, stupid, Joe. Why would you even bring that up? This is what I try to get from making... Just trying to make conversation. Tyler Naquin... Out of 250 for the Indians. And Blake Snell for the Rays. Rays have been playing well. That goes to Matt D. I know, I know, Chris. I screwed it up. I shouldn't even talk shouldn't even talk about him. Rays have been playing well, though. All right, Bryce, you gotta scoot over here. Um, the Marlins ownership situation, uh, I think it was like, Jeff Loria, right? Had had the team for a while. They've they've gone through some some not so good owners. I feel like, but that's a that's a that could be a huge sports market down there. Maybe some good ownership. I can do it. I mean. A good franchise, you know, it just isn't about spending the spending the dollar dollar bills. You know, it's, it's on the on the on payroll. You have to have smart ownership to even get there. I mean, the look at the Dodgers. The Dodgers, you know, once the O'Malley's sold the team back in the '90s, they sold it to Fox. Fox was terrible. That set the organization back a number of years, even though they were spending a boatload of money on guys like Kevin Brown and stuff like that. You know, and then you got then you had like the McCourt family, and that was a whole debacle too. And only recently have the Dodgers have gotten their s together, you know. And now it it shows now in the way their organization is being run. Yuli Yuleski Gudiel for the Astros. That goes to Darren McKenzie. There you go, Darren, on the board. So I mean, same goes for the, same goes for the Marlins. But solid ownership. That's why that's why it's important. You see how. Owners like, there's Clint Frazier to 99. O owners like uh, Peter Angelos, Orioles, 
you know, will kind of hold back a team. There's Anthony Alford again for the Blue Jays. That'll be for a Robert. So Miami's got to be excited. Uh, got to be excited about some new ownership coming in. There's Dansby to 250 and Jorge Mateo for the Yankees. Uh, Bronx Bombers, that goes to Gary. Although, didn't Jorge Mateo get traded? Was he part of that deal that sent him to the A's? I think. I mean, he'll still go to the Yankees in this break, but like in IR, like IRL. 115 out of 250 for Lee. And Justin Dunn for the Mets. Michael Tran with the Justin Dunn. Dun, dun, dun. It's like a refractor, Andrew. I'll, I'll sleeve that one. All right. Next two mini boxes. Good luck. Coming up after this is a one box break of Immaculate Collegiate Football. After the Immaculate Collegiate Football one box break will be a big five box break of Immaculate Collegiate Football. Should be a nice finish to the evening. And then we'll have a, a few... Uh, have a few personal boxes to go through, and then I think that'll be it. I think that, that that's pretty good for a Saturday night. We've been pretty busy all night. It started off a little slow, and then it really just started to pick up a lot of steam. So I'm glad that happened. So thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. But hey, stick around. We still have a few more breaks to go. Still a lot, a lot of fun to see. I don't know if that's a must-watch, Justin. <laughs> Justin going back to the knee injuries. Uh, that's why Bryce Harper is right there. Uh, the Patrick Edwards leg injury from the University of Houston, that's a must-watch as well. I don't know if that's a must-watch. That is like not safe for, for life. NSFL. Let alone work. A, I think I see a redemption down there. Good sign, bad sign? Braves guy, maybe? There's Tim Anderson for the White Sox. White Sox having a nice break. There you go, Ed. And, wow, first impressions autograph for the Twins, Alex Kirilov. I was getting some nice insert autos, the dual auto, and now this one, first impressions auto. You don't see these very often. Chris Danielson with the Twins. Nice. And the redemption. Out of 250 is Altuve for the Astros. There's you Darvish. Happy to have you Darvish on the team. Best of 2016 autograph of Tuki Toussaint. Yes, Tuki Toussaint for Lee and the Braves. You were almost guaranteed that one. All right, on this side. There's Mike Clevenger. Mike Clevenger for the Tribe. That goes to Chris Parent. And Ton, the Ton autograph. Tyler O'Neill. Seattle Mariners, Matt Parsons.
And that is that. All right, just two boxes to go. We're almost there. And we'll have a few randomizers to do, and then we'll get into the uh, the next break, which will be the one box break of Panini Immaculate Collegiate Football. That'll be a pretty quick one, and then we'll move on to the five box break of Immaculate Collegiate Football. I have a feeling that we could probably squeeze, looking, just looking at the timer now, we could probably squeeze in like maybe another one or one or two one box breaks. Maybe we only have three left. So after we do the one that's after this, we'll have two left after that. I think we would have time to finish off that case. Not leave those two kind of sitting out over the weekend. They may spoil. So we can finish off those one boxers. It's like, it's like an apple. You know what I mean? No, I'm afraid not, Jug Shot. Ten Buck Breaks will be back next week on the Ten Buck Breaks channel. It wouldn't be on this channel anyway. But subscribe to Ten Buck Breaks. That's where you can find them. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everyone. There's Ian Anderson out of 250 for Lee. And there's Franklin Barreto for the A's. So Smitty on the board, the A's. And green Anderson Espinoza, 55 out of 99. So you had the base auto. Shane, and now you have the green auto. Nice. Supposed to be a pretty hot prospect for uh, for the Padres. Yohan Mankato is on the White Sox now, having a nice start. And look at this, three out of five, Orlando Arcia. Rory with the Brewers. That was unexpected. No ink, but that's still pretty cool. I mean, you pretty much have to you pretty much have to find the one of one and then do the rainbow at this point now. Right? Three out of five, Orlando Arcia for Rory and the Brew Crew. Rory, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice. And we got another Kirlov autograph. In the back right here for Chris Danielson. Nice. And behind Albert Almora is Garrett Davila for the Royals. That'll be for Matt Parsons. And Dylan Bentansis on the back. All right. Get well soon, Bryce Harper. Last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. This was 2016. Bowman's Best Baseball, break number 38 from jazbeeshobbyland.com on a Saturday, the 12th. Thanks, everybody, for filling this guy up. Uh, we'll have a couple randomizers, the mirror image randomizers, and then some giveaways at the end. So stick around for that. See if you if you've got if you went hitless, maybe you'll get a little bonus. A little consolation prize. If you got hits. Then this would be then the giveaway would be a cherry on top for you. So either way, either way. Oh, 
sure if we're going to have more of this, Paul. We've already done 38 of these breaks. And as time goes on, there are fewer and fewer cases available. But we'll see. This always tends to do pretty well on the site, so... Also depending on what kind of new releases are going to be coming out and all that. Ian Anderson, nice. One of the top uh, top picks for the Braves. Going to Lee. And another Franklin Barreto for Smitty and the A's. Ooh, Video Void, DeLucas wants to get some of that NT football moving. That would be pretty impressive. I'd be down. There's Freddie Freeman and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I think I've seen one of these in like 38 breaks. 15 out of 35 for the Braves, Freddie Freeman. Uh, for Lee and the Braves and Vlad Guerrero Jr. Yep, that's his son. Some of you are feeling old now. Um, that goes to Robert Simak and the Blue Jays. Nice one, Robert. That's a strong one right there. Don't see too many of those. Aaron Judge insert. We'll send that. Justin Dunn, da dun dun for uh, Michael Tran. Oh, you're welcome, Lee. And what's that? Anything at the end? Probably not. Hmm. Poor Bryce Harper. And Espinosa at the end right there. And there you have it, boys and girls. Pick your team 38 in the books. Thanks, everyone, for getting me getting in. Chris Connell's like, thanks for making me feel old. All those kids are coming up. Like, Phil Nevin has a kid that's in the league now. Um, Flattigrew, Drew, Cal, you see Paul Quantrill's son? We pulled his autograph. All right. So let's do the first. So all the regular mirror image cards will just randomize left and right. The one per case mirror image is between the Marlins and the Twins. Not the Marlins. The Marlins and the uh, Twins. And then everybody has a chance at the extra Tops National Baseball Card Day prizes. So here's how that works. There'll be 10 winners. Um, after the end of the break, this is the end of the break, um, spots one through five will get one Mike Trout. It's one of these right here. One Mike Trout, right? And one pack, one National Baseball Card Day pack, which apparently have autos in there too. They have autographs in there too. So the top five will get the trout and the packs. And then six through 10, spot six through 10, will just get the trout. So hopefully that makes sense. We'll use the same dice roll. Wow, snake eyes for everything. All right, that's fine. Easy for me. We've got other breaks to do. One, two, left side, we'll get these. Left side. Snake Eyes again, Marlins Twins, one and two, goes to the Marlins. Nope, this goes to the Marlins, right? Also the left side. Marlins, that'll be Matt Parsons, that's a one per case. And top 10 can win out. A little bonus, a little thank you. One and two, Snake Eyes, right there. So we have Shane, Jack, Jaime, Gary, Heather, Lee, Jacob, Corey, Matthew, and John. Your winners. Thanks very much, everyone. Everyone's a winner when you join Breaks at jazbeeshobbyland.com, no matter what, at least in my book. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for Jaspies. We'll see you next time. Bye.